days? Can you still be faithful when you don't understand what's going on? Can you still keep on building when your friends saying you crazy? Can you still keep on praising God? Hallelujah. When what he said was coming ain't came yet. Hallelujah. And that's why I need somebody to understand today, baby, that you're on God's mind right now. Well, baby, let me bless you. Just because you're on God's mind does not necessarily mean he's talking to you right now. I'll do it again later. Sometimes what God does is, uh, yes, he does not communicate with you verbally, but he allows nature, watch this, uh, he allows other things uh, to fall in place. I got five folk that's bored is crazy right now and ain't spiritual. Don't understand what I'm talking about at all. Uh, skip over you. I need to find five people in this building that know now baby that your assignment yes is a discovery process as you go he will show and sometimes God don't give you the whole blueprint y'all ain't said them. he tells you to start but don't show you to finish he tells you what you need but don't tell you how you gonna get it but God wants to know will your faith push you to a place of unbelievable sacrifice. Well, God, who gonna help me? He says, help yourself. I wish I had more help now. Who gonna be with me? If nobody comes, be by yourself. I just need to know if I tell you to do something, are you stable enough? Are you strong enough? Are you determined enough to take a risk and obey me? I ain't got too much of a church. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, you're on God's mind. So, God causes Noah, I'm almost done, I promise. God causes Noah to do something. He says, Noah built an ark. No one knows what an ark is. Noah doesn't even know what an ark is. God has to tell him what to do. Go use some gopher wood and go do this and go do this. Noah says, now, the sun is out. You're saying it's going to rain. But God, can I ask you something? What is rain? Y'all ain't saying much. Sometimes when God speaks to you, he speaks to you things and terminologies that you watch this have no knowledge of. But in the face of what you don't understand, can you still be obedient? Mama, well, I've asked God plenty of times, why in the world would you allow me to do this stuff so much and be talked about so much and be ridiculed so much? much and every time I ask you something only thing you tell me is keep on going now, let me bless you real quick sometime baby your flesh wants some answers so I was some help in here now I don't care how saved you are how many tongues you speak in now, your flesh want to answer now, if I let the Lord me no 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 God show me something I've been working this hard I've been praying I've been crying and I can't see nothing my spiritual eye sees one thing but my flesh don't see nothing and every once in a while God I need you to appeal to the total man now, let me bless five of y'all real quick baby you must understand something y'all you cannot move in God and you don't have no faith now, I'll do it again you cannot accomplish God's will for your life preach and you don't have no faith faith now faith come here is the yes, some of the things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now, yes, hope that is seen is not hope. So, yes, if every time God spoke to me, he showed me exactly what he meant, I would need no faith. I would have assurance in what I saw. But the Bible says, for we walk by faith, preach. Y'all dead today, and not by sight. Let me bless five of y'all, baby. God want me to tell you today that your, that, that your journey and your purpose is a discovery process. As you go, he will show. But a lot of us, y'all, because of what we cannot see, we've stopped somewhere between him giving instructions and our destination. And that's what's holding our blessing up. If we can ever keep on moving, even when we cannot see, God will manifest himself in a real way. Hey!